picked up a couple parts for our M85 and our M92 PAPS. Here we have the TAPCO AK retaining plate for the trigger and hammer group pins. Originally I had bought a Krebs plate to try to work into my M92, but the Yugo AK style has the lower trigger pin and mine wouldn't retain them. For all those of you that are familiar with the Shepherd's Hook, this is the one that came with my M92. This one wasn't so bad to put in and out, but the M85 has one that hooks around the uh, front rivet that I'm not too pleased with and it's a pain to get in and out. So I'll just do a quick rundown today of fitting these in the uh, gun. So here's our M92. And, uh, this is not too hard to do this. Take your top cover off. Take your springs out. Pull your bolt carrier out. And this plate, as you can see, is going to retain the safety and the trigger and hammer spring. Or trigger and hammer pin. You'll notice on my M92, the trigger plate, or this the plate hits the bottom of the rear trunnion right here. You can kind of see it right there. So we're going to take it out and we're just going to trim the back of that plate off because they want this entire plate to be flush with the receiver. It's pretty easy to take out of here. Just your, set your hammer off, pull your trigger forward and the safety will come out. And then you can take this little tab and just pull up. And there's a plate, and we're just going to take some off the back of this edge here because this plate's designed to fit multiple different styles of AKs. So basically, I just ended up taking a uh, sanding disc on the Dremel. You can see I just kind of ground that edge off so it would clear that rear trunnion. And I also ground the front down a little bit because it was hitting one of the guide rails on the side here. Like I said, these things go in stupid easy. You just come and set it in there and make sure it hooks around the uh, front hammer pin. Make sure your hole lines up for your safety and make sure that it captured your pins, which it didn't do. Captures your pins. And you just grab your safety. Might need to pull your trigger forward. Some people can't get their safety out without taking the trigger. You might have to grind the safety. Mine didn't have to. Rotate it forward. Now that plate is flush up against the receiver. If you check your pins. They do not want to come out. And that comes apart a lot easier than dealing with this shepherd hook, shepherd's hook. And I'll show you the other one. Now here's the other shepherd's hook on the M85. This one's a lot harder to see. It starts up here, comes down on each pin, and then comes up here around this front rivet and sticks up here. I notice a lot of times when I'm putting the mag in sometimes that this will come up a little bit and the mag will actually push it back in. This one I'm more concerned about. It seems like the uh, PAPs, they just have parts that they randomly throw in there and if they run out of the one shepherd's hook, they throw this one or vice versa in there. So this is the one I was more concerned about. And I'm not even going to bother trying to get it. I'm just going to rip it out of there because I don't like it at all. So after some prying, I got the shepherd's hook that was in the M85 out and like I said I really don't like this one because it's such a pain in the ass it's pretty much destroyed every time, bent out of shape every time you take it out this one like I said was better and a test fitment with the Tapco we gotta do the same thing, grind the top here and then grind the back here to get it to fit so on the M85 I actually had to grind a little bit away right here, which you got to be really careful because if you grind too much, then your plate won't retain your trigger pin. But probably because of the manufacturing quality differences, 
the trigger pin on this one may be slightly higher so then my safety hole didn't line up so I just very carefully took a little bit of weighing test fitted until that lined up I took some way back here and on the back side right here so I just threw some instant touch up black paint on the, the, what I ground off just to make sure it doesn't rust and the beauty of these is they go right in with ease sometimes that spring gets in the way a little bit so you just push it out of the way make sure you're retained there Put your safety back here again make sure your hammer and trigger pins aren't going to walk anywhere There you go. If you're looking for a plate that'll fit the M92, M85, grab one of the Tapcos over the Krebs because the Krebs don't fit the Yugo style. Thanks for watching.